I have x times quantity x minus 8 plus 12 equals 0. I'm going to solve for x. So in this case, first thing I'm going to do is subtract 12 from both sides. I'm going to get x times quantity x minus 8 equals 0. Or excuse me, equals negative 12. And this is a little bit tougher. Um, probably the best thing in this case is actually to complete the square. So I'm going to do x squared minus 8x, and then I'm going to take half of this and square it so I get plus 16, and then add 16 to both sides. So I get x minus 4 squared is equal to 4. Take square root of both sides, so I get x minus 4 is equal to plus or minus 2. Let me move this up here. And what I'm going to get finally is x I'm going to add 4 to both sides, so I get uh, x is equal to 4 plus or minus 2. So that means x is going to be equal to uh, 2 and 6. Does that work out? Um, I have 2, so 2 times negative 2, or excuse me, 2 minus 8 is negative 6 times 2. It's negative 12 plus 12 equals 0. That works. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, plus 12 equals 0. That works out. So that means that x is equal to 2 and 6 works out.